you're listening to Retirement Spark on TalkZone.com. And now, back to your host, Dan Vito. Welcome back to the Retirement Spark Talk Show. Our guest today, is Scott Perry, Chief Operating Officer of CNO Financial and President of Bankers Life and Casualty Company. As always, if you'd like to join the conversation by asking a question or making a comment, please call us at 888-463-6748. Or if you prefer, you can email us at talkshow at retirementspark.com. So, Scott, um, you know, let's say there's somebody listening right now, um, maybe a little bit like Evan, who's really motivated to take some steps and have a positive impact on on their retirement. Um, let's get sort of super practical. I mean, mm-hmm. what are some things that virtually anyone listening today should consider? You know, what are the steps they should consider taking to improve, you know, their prospects for a, you know, a financially secure and satisfying retirement? Well, uh it's a great point. The, f- the first thing that they should do is uh, begin to take action. Whether you're planning right. on retiring yeah. in five years, 15 years, or 20 years, uh, it's uh, never too soon to begin the process. The first step of that process should be about- uh, Scott, let me just ask you. I yeah, just to yeah. ask you on that one. I mean, when you say take a step, um, I think some people think it has to be some gigantic step. Yeah. And you and I have, you know, we're talking offline here. I mean, sometimes it's just even the little steps, right? That yeah. can put you on a path- toward being, you know, much more secure. Absolutely. The littlest one is the most important one sometime. And that, yeah, right. uh, I think it starts with uh, getting clear on what's realistic, okay. given your situation. Okay. Um, I think people that put off that step, that realistic expectation, are still have this vision of something that they might want, right? but they can't have they can't afford and that causes you to put off taking the next steps yeah so getting clear on what's realistic yeah. uh, and then building a vision around a realistic expectation is the first step that anybody should take it's interesting you know when you say build a vision how specific do you suggest people be I mean is it sort of like well I want to I want to travel or do you have to get much more specific than that I'm, I'm I, I think they need to get more specific. What okay. type of a lifestyle would they like and what type of a lifestyle could you afford? Yeah. So uh, travel, just travel in general uh, is not specific enough Yeah. Okay. Um, right. because traveling across the globe is one expect- right. expectation. Travel first class. Right, <laughs> traveling <or>. first class. <laughs> traveling to, to, to Florida uh, for right. spring, for the spring and for the winter is a, a different expectation. Different. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, I often say um, disappointment. People are disappointed in retirement when expectations and reality don't meet. Right. So what right. you're saying is, you know, eliminate that possibility. Um, and when you say... So let's say people kind of plot out their vision, what they'd like to do. Okay, how do I know if that's feasible? How do I know if that's within my realm of possibility? Well, there's a number of steps you can take, but that's where getting involved with a professional is important. Okay, um, they can help assess the you know your current situation, the assets you have, the action that you've taken to date. For right, instance, right. Uh, you know, I advise uh, anybody who's still working to take full advantage of any kind of uh, employer-sponsored plan yeah. that there that may be available to them. And it's alarming how many people uh, don't take advantage and in some cases aren't even aware of wow. what's uh, provided by their employer. For instance, 401k is a, a lot of employers offering, uh, offering it, but not all employees take advantage of it. And whether you've taken advantage of it up until now or not, you should immediately start taking advantage yeah. of it. Yeah. If, if there's a no-brainer step to preparing for retirement, that's that's got to be amongst the top. That, that, that absolutely, because most employers uh, match uh, up to some level. Right. So it's, it, it's it, free money. It, it, it's free money. And at least <laughs> if you contribute to that matching level, uh, you're maximizing that particular benefit. And that's a, a, a no-brainer place yeah. to start, as you mentioned. Fantastic. Um, so let's say, uh, you know, I'm saving some money. Um, what we've touched on a couple of times. I mean, what about all the risks? You know, we've just gone through this financial meltdown, but you know, there are other risks. People are concerned about healthcare. What, what can people do? How do you start thinking about yeah, you, that? You, you can't protect from everything, sure. but there's certain known risks that you're foolish if you don't do something about. Right. And, uh, that's the three most important financial risks to consider, uh, for somebody, uh, entering retirement or planning for retirement is uh, long-term care, 
risk, right. whether that's home health care stay or a facility stay. Right. Which is can be incredibly expensive. Cr- incredibly I mean, expensive, depending right. on the, you know, the, the, the geography in different parts of the sure. country. It runs on the low end thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, on a high end eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a year <laughs> uh, for facility care. And so that'll, that, that'll wipe out a fair chunk of nest egg. <laughs> a- absolutely. Um, the second area to protect against is longevity. Mm-hmm. Um, so outliving your money. So making sure that your nest egg is going to be there and that you maximize what you have in there, and it can, and that it can provide an income stream uh, when you need to tap it. Yeah. What uh, a what a cruel irony if you know you have a long life, but you kind of run out of money at the end. Absolutely. Right? You don't want to find yourself there. And, and clearly, uh, you know, as part of the planning process, people need to consider the impacts of inflation. Uh, so mm-hmm. what you might think you need today yeah. uh, is not going to necessarily be worth the same right. when you retire in 15 or 20 or 30 years. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You know, we, we have been through a period of relatively low inflation, but you know, most people, when they go through life and they're working, their pay more or less keeps up with inflation. Right. But when you're, when you're retired, you, you're not getting any raises, right? It's, so this is it's a really it's tricky one. It can really, I suppose... I suspect anyway, you could catch a lot of people off guard. Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, inflation is something most people on their own wouldn't plan for. Right. Uh, right. And that, again, that's where a good advisor would come in. I also think that um, I just heard today that the Social Security COLA for this year is 1%. Yeah. Um, I think there's a false expectation that, uh, and as we found in our study, that Social Security is going to be there and kind of grow kind of grow and, right. and as the needs change and and that may not in fact be the case and so yeah. people may, need to be more proactive but it's not just about the kind of financial aspects of it i mean right. once that once you take care of those aspects uh you really need to take care of your own physical aspects and so right. you know taking care of yourself staying physically fit if you do all this work in preparation to protect your f- financial security you want to be able to enjoy it, enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> when you reach that uh, that opportunity. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and people say they're, oh, they're too busy and all that kind of stuff, but I guess it comes down to just priorities, right? I mean, what it, do you tell people? I yeah. Mean, well, it, you know, once you've established the desire uh, and the expectation, then immediately research, uh, reach out for professional advice. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you make that step, uh, the rest of the steps will follow. A good professional right. will take you through the process right. uh, from beginning to end, and it, it doesn't take long. It's not right. painful. <laughs> uh, and, and Frank, trust me, at the end of the process- It really uh, doesn't hurt. It, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and at the end of the process, people are going to feel much better. And so you know, whether you have $5,000 or $500,000, it's a complex process. And trying to go it alone yeah. uh, is, is, is really- you know, asking too much of yourself. So yeah. a professional advisor can help create a financial plan that supports that realistic expectation or that vision that you have for your retirement years. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you uh, you kind of alluded to it, but I, I have talked to people who said, gosh, you know, before I met with an advisor, I was kind of nervous. I, I kind of knew I needed to do something, but I hadn't yet. And then once they came through the processing their side, it was like this great burden had been lifted off of them. They felt great sense of relief. And what they said is it sort of, it allowed them to kind of enjoy the retirement that they wanted to have rather right, than right. carrying around this worry and weight all the time. So. Right. As, as we said in the study, just the fact that somebody's engaged with a professional, right. they feel better about their future right. prospects. Right. There's a level of comfort, level of ease. And, and certainly and that's worth that, something. Right? It's I worth mean, it's something. That mental health or, and peace of mind right. it, it will impact positively your physical health. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Fantastic. Well, um, we are coming up on the end of the show here. So, Scott, I really uh, want to thank you for coming on into the studio, being in studio with us today and sharing all the great insights that the Banker Center for Secure Retirement are kind of unveiling and and revealing to uh, listeners, be they professionals in the industry or, or, you know, clients. And, uh, you know, hope to see a lot more fantastic research coming out of the Center for Secure Retirement. Well, thanks so much for having me, Dan. I really appreciate it speaking to you about the study. And hopefully your viewers and the listeners uh, found the information informative and helpful. And we certainly plan on doing more uh, through the Center for Secure Retirement. As I mentioned up front, this is an area that we feel is uh, there's a real void for information, yeah. particularly for information directed at middle income Americans uh, planning for or in retirement. And we feel it's a duty uh, to 
provide yeah, information uh, to help people make some decisions and uh, kind of enjoy the retirement that you know they've envisioned over yeah. the years. Well, it's it's really important work, and I'm I'm really pleased to uh, have had a chance to meet you and speak with you on this. Yeah, it's great. To um, be I'm going to remind our listeners uh, there's all kinds of additional interesting information and helpful tips if you go visit uh, the Bankers Center for Secure Retirement at www.centerforasecureretirement.com. Uh, you can explore, you can download full versions of, the, of all the research reports. Um, and I'll also remind listeners if they want to uh, you know, go ahead and contact a Bankers Life and Casualty Company agent, uh, they can do so quite easily. Just go visit www.bankers.com or you can call 800-231-9150. Of course, I'll be back with more on retirement at the same time next week. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about Retirement Spark, please visit us at retirementspark.com. Thanks very much for listening. <laughs> 